Interior designers must be comprehensively equipped to create supportive, responsive environments. From hospitality to workplace and healthcare to retail, the demand for multidisciplinary solutions is formidable. Like William White did in The Social Life of Small Urban Spaces, we observed IKEA shoppers and mapped their meanderings. The biggest secret to IKEA success is its maze-like spatial organization designed to obscure a path to the exit. Shoppers meander along a 12-foot wide public street, continually distracted by fully accessorized private rooms to the right and the semi-private salon to the left. IKEA's other secret is the shortcut. We were interested in how many people take the shortcuts and why. The shortcut option allows an out for those who feel a loss of control by being confined to the street like cutting through an alley. In exercising their freedom of choice and the need to break away from the herd, our study revealed that 40% of IKEA shoppers take the shortcuts because shortcuts give people a sense of autonomy. People need to make their own rules in how to use space, proving that user autonomy is essential to successful interior design. Another observation that intrigued us was shoppers' interaction with the merchandise who samples what, how do they sample, and for how long. People tend to go where other people are. The reason for this is the human act of crowding. We observed that strategically placed product augmented by color, lighting, and pricing attracts the first herd member, and then others follow. Retail strategies designed to attract, engage, and ultimately get shoppers to purchase owe their success to consumer psychology. As the environmental psychologist Paco Underhill says, if we went into the stores only when we needed to buy something, and if once there we bought only what we needed, the economy would collapse. IKEA's environment provides shoppers with just the right sense of belonging, freedom, and safety. We also notice that verbal engagement varies with gender. Men engage in conversation 52% more than women, while women, consumed by spatial interaction, are seriously focused on shopping. How important and applicable are the lessons of human behavior? The human-centered approach to design places users' needs first, and good design is ultimately judged by how conducive it is to human experience. Incorporating psychological, behavioral, social, and cultural research methods enables designers to identify strategies by which to create a reciprocal relationship between space and its users.